for anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Chrissy Geraro. I have the great pleasure of being the executive director of the Rochester Downtown Development Authority. We are super excited that you've joined us here tonight. I'm very biased to think our downtown is great, but I think we can always look to the future. We can always look to improve things. So that's kind of, I think, what we're going to do tonight, look for ideas. Uh, we want to uh, uh, dream our downtown. No ideas off limits. So think big, no rules, do what you want, figure this out. We're trying to figure out the next path that we're going. We'd like to give a warm welcome to Ben Maldrow. Ben is the owner and innovator of Arnett Mondro and Associates. Ben has been a driving force for Main Street communities across America and has worked with so many of us over the years. He is a friend. You all have a fantastic community. You've got a remarkable DDA staff. You are not the copiers, you are the originators. And it is absolutely exciting to play a part with a room full of stakeholders and citizens as we talk about what you want to see the downtown of your future to look like. We'll be doing a lot of talking, we'll be doing some drawing and writing and sharing and that kind of stuff. You all at your table are a business development task force. Your job is to identify businesses that we need to bring into the community, businesses that you as a citizen or stakeholder would love to see to help create a more well-rounded experience. That's what we want to start to build a list on. Yeah, this is the district. You probably can't build something meaningful on the elevator ground space, but you can build a pavilion, something like that, that doesn't take a deep foundation, and then have something that's covered and then do outside concerts. We're talking grocery store, we're talking convenience store, we're talking food specific, high-end grocery. Papa Joe's, Rudy's. To save that building as part of a bigger picture. Looking at featuring local chefs to how long would that be? Small local market, and here's where the power of bullet points with vegan food options, bakery that sells bagels, cooking demonstrations featuring our local talented chefs, and then third was a multi use entertainment venue. So this next task is a little bit different. Where we were talking all about businesses the first time. What I want you all to do, every table has the opportunity to locate 10 pieces of public art. How can we connect parking lot into shopping district? Like, use them strategically. It's supposed to attract you. So if there's a piece of art somewhere, it would draw you in, but there's no direction given. Right, yeah, that whole DDA park never the gets used. The amphitheater and the walk bridge, right. nobody even knows it's it that right out here. And the that area right. behind the library in yeah. Los Angeles, they have a public area to do graffiti. Uh, this is Rochester. Uh, it's still downtown Rochester, but it's not in the DDA district. And we also talked about art not being um, touch and feel. It's listen. It's music. So how could we engage maybe some of that activity and music into this space with the market? We talked a lot about um, just the landmark opportunities as well and to identify the corners and the alleys and make them come to life. We believed that our visitors and our citizens deserved a little bit of whimsy in their life. So don't ever allow this stuff to get thrown into the category of fluff. This is what makes this place worthy of investment, worthy of risk. Make sense? With the placemaking, we're focusing in on creating engagement. I would love it if you guys would spend about 15 minutes, talk about where could we infuse cool? Where could we have some interactions of just fun space? Where could we have, you know, whether we're talking a pop-up movie, get creative, there are no rules. Yeah, so if you're looking to, to buy a house in the suburbs, right? And you gotta have a dog park. Right. right. You might say, yeah, I gotta have a dog park. It's the farmer's market. <laughs> yeah. With, with a uh, year-round permanent building stuck back in here somewhere. Big heart art structures that you could hang the locks on at different places in town. And we went so far as we could purchase locks here, put them in the vending machine. But That's exactly what we're talking about. Like, you take one thing and then say, hey, let's find a way that people can interact. So identify redevelopment sites, 
maybe start to think about all these things that we talked about and start linking those. And then after you identify the redevelopment sites, I would love for you to land on a key, what we call catalyst project. This right here, Suave, and they've put two million dollars to move to move the river, or not move the river, but move the train. But don't forget, this is if, if no one owns it, and we could potentially have. Like, is this an opportunity? It's a huge opportunity. Yeah. Right there, build agreement. He's gonna do some of that. It's Michigan. Cheese lady can have a little booth in there too. All year round, it's not just for innovation. This whole section. You could fit a lot of cool stuff in there. Gives you this opportunity to have this kind of interesting, engaged park space on the water. And then this street connects through one of these narrow and what looks to be vacant parcels. And then you create a new connection point over to south. We want to extend and make our heart bigger. And we found that that number one space, which is probably not a surprise to anyone, is the, um, the space across from the farmer's market lot in front of the new Rewild headquarters. And I've learned a new word tonight called entertainment, but really trying to figure out how to bring Main Street that way and to the north and to the south, but that was when we settled on. When you think about where we started and where we've come with all of this content and uh, all of this guidance and all these ideas, I'm really, really excited. This is your home. And there is nothing more magic than seeing people shape the way that their home can become. <laughs>